Hi, and welcome to lesson 9 in our Phases of Matter unit. Lessons 9, 10, 11, and 12 are all going to look at the relationships between pressure, volume, and temperature for gases. We're going to look at them in pairs, and then we're going to look at them together. Our first law is going to be Boyle's Law, named after Robert Boyle, which looks at the relationship between pressure and volume for a gas. Boyle's Law reads that at constant temperature, the pressure of any sample of a gas is inversely proportional to its volume. Let's think about this for a second. If we're keeping the temperature constant, any change in pressure is going to have an opposing effect on the space between the gas molecules. Here's one liter of a gas at one atmosphere of pressure. If I were to double that pressure, it's going to cut my volume in half. Similarly, if I were to cut that initial pressure in half, it's going to double my volume. Boyle's Law actually plays a really important role in many real life situations. One of the most crucial being scuba divers. Scuba divers are under a considerably increased pressure due to the fact that they've got this massive amount of water surrounding them. There are many different problems that can develop as a result of scuba diving, but one of the major ones is a violation of the first rule of scuba diving, which is to always keep breathing. This is really important, particularly when surfacing or going from a depth back up to the surface of the ocean. As you surface, the pressure that you're under decreases, which causes the volume of the gas to expand. This isn't a problem in the sturdy walls of the tank, but it is a problem in the much less sturdy walls of your lungs. The air that's occupying your lungs is expanding, just like the air that's in your tank. If you don't continue to breathe, you won't allow that expanding gas to escape from your lungs, and as that gas expands, it will eventually cause the air spaces in your lungs to expand and eventually rupture or pop in what's called a pulmonary embolism which is a very, very dangerous and deadly condition. As I'm sure you can understand, having a ruptured lung is problematic for continuation of life. This is just one example of Boyle's Law in real life, but anytime we're dealing with pressures and volumes of gases at the same temperature, Boyle's Law is going to dictate how they'll behave. Mathematically, Boyle's Law is expressed as following. For any gas at constant temperature, the pressure times the volume of the gas is equal to a constant value. This means that the initial pressure times the initial volume, or P1 times V1, has to equal the final pressure times the final volume, or P2 times V2. Expressed graphically, we see the classic inverse relationship, where as we double the pressure, we have the volume, and vice versa. Let's try an example from our packet. This one's on page 13. A sample of gas occupies a volume of 2.00 liters at STP. If the pressure is increased to 2.00 atmospheres at constant temperature, what is the new volume of the gas? Pause the video and try to solve this on your own. And then when you're ready, let's go through the solution together. So I'm going to use Boyle's Law to solve this problem. I know that the initial pressure times the initial volume has to equal the final pressure times the final volume. I'm going to then look at my problem and take the values that I need out of it and plug them into my equation. This winds up being 1.00 atmospheres times 2.00 liters is going to be equal to 2.00 atmospheres times some unknown number of liters. Rearranging this for x, I'll get that x is equal to 2.00 atmosphere liters, or the products of the left side of my initial equation, divided by 2.00 atmospheres. Doing this math, I get 1.00 atmospheres as my final answer. Does this make sense? If not, take a moment and write down any questions that you have before we wrap up. Thanks so much for watching this video. Please make sure that you can do the following here at the end. Make sure that you can explain Boyle's Law at both the macro and atomic levels, how changes in pressure influence the volume of gases. And also make sure that you can use Boyle's Law to solve pressure volume problems that you'll be given, both in practice problems and in class in general. If you can do both of these things, you're doing great. If not, take a moment and write down any questions that you have. You can always leave the questions for me in comments below the video, or you can always get in touch with me through the information in the info field. Thanks again for watching. I really appreciate it. Have a great day.